Hello, in this session we will talk about automated testing. There are three main types of automated tests, unit tests, integration tests and load tests. In this session we will discuss about unit tests. A unit test is a test that exercises individual software components or methods also known as unit of work. Unit tests should only test code within developer's control. They do not test infrastructure concerns. Infrastructure concerns include interacting with databases, file systems and network resources. Before starting with unit testing example, let us make one small change in our story entity as per domain driven design recommendation. Instead of having public constructor, let us have private constructor so that we should not able to create object of story entity from outside this class. Also, we will remove this public constructor. Now, as we will not able to create object of this class from outside, we need to provide one factory method which will create story object and will return to our client code. So let us add create method which is a static method so that we can call it without object of story class. And it takes two parameters similar to the constructor that we had. Now, the responsibility of creating object will be of this create method. So here we are creating the object, executing all the checks that are required to create that object and then returning that object. Next, as we are creating object of story in create story command handler, we need to change this line to use create method instead of constructor. So now it will be very easy to unit test create method of story entity. So let us add unit testing project to this unit test folder. We will be using xunit as a framework for unit testing. So add new project, search for xunit project. So this is xunit test project. Let us name it Orion unit tests. Make sure that you are saving it to appropriate directory. So select tests folder unit test. Now we are using .NET 6.0. As we want to test domain layer, let us add dependency of that project. Before writing our first unit test, let us have a look on good practice of naming our unit tests. The name of test should consist of three parts. The name of the method being tested, the scenario under which it's being tested, and the expected behavior when the scenario is evoked. For example, if we want to test our story object creation and we want to validate it for bad words, then our test should look like this. Create story. This is the method that we want to test. If bad word is not passed, this is a scenario which we want to test. Should create story object. This is expected behavior when the scenario is evoked. Same way, create story, if bad word is passed, should throw exception. So if we are passing bad words while creating the story object, it should throw the exception. So let us go ahead and create these tests. So our first test will look like this. We will always arrange our test in three sections, arrange, act and assert. In arrange section, we will set up all the prerequisites. In act section, we will actually call the method that we want to test. And in assert section, we will check if we are getting expected output or not. So in this variable, we are setting up some random string which doesn't have any bad word. And then in act section, we are making call to the create method of the story entity and passing that string to it. And we are expecting story object here. In assert section, we are checking if the story should not be null and also we are checking story.text is equal to the story text that we passed here in create method. You can see that every unit test method will be decorated by fact attribute and for assertion we are using assert class. These are provided by xunit. Instead of using assert class for writing our assertions, we will be using fluent assertions NuGet package as we can write these assertions in much readable format using fluent assertions. To use that, we need to first install fluent assertion NuGet package. So let us go to dependencies. 
manage NuGet packages, browse, search for fluent assertions, install. After installing this, we can write same assertions in much readable form like this. Include the namespace fluent assertions here. And now we can write these asserts in much readable format. Same way we can have a negative test. In arrange section, now we are passing bad word that is not allowed. As we are expecting exception here, we need to set it up little differently using this action delegate. And we are expecting that if we will pass bad word to create method of story class, it should throw business rule validation exception. So let us import the namespace. Fix this by importing link. And here we are checking that this should throw business rule validation exception. We are also checking that the first error is having proper error message that we are expecting. Now if we will open our text explorer, we should able to see these two tests. Let us try to run it. And both of the tests are passing. That confirms that our create method is behaving as expected. With this we can stop here. If you find this content useful, please like and subscribe. If you wish to receive a notification whenever a new episode is published, then do not forget to hit the bell icon and click all option in the frequency drop down. Thank you.